Okay. So if you get your standard electrode potential table out from the back of the exam, here's the general concept first. And then we'll maybe try some specifics. The more positive the reduction is, the more easily reduced it will be. The more easily reduction will happen on that reaction. So the more positive, the more spontaneous, so the more likely the reduction will occur. As it gets more and more negative, the less likely it will occur. In fact, if it be actually becomes negative, that's non-spontaneous. Okay. Now imagine we flip all the reduction half reactions so they become oxidation half reactions. That flips the sign of every single one. Then it's the opposite. So the ones that were negative, uh, now highly positive, those are most easily <coughs> oxidized. Um, as it, so the more positive the E, the more spontaneous, so the most easily oxidized. As it gets more negative of the flipped reactions, then it gets less easily oxidized. There's an additional concept that goes on with both of those. The more easily oxidized, uh, oxidized goes with uh, corrosion. So the most easily oxidized is the most easily corroded. Uh, reduced goes with plating. Especially for the ones that go to solid. So for the ones that go to solid, most easily uh, that the reduction happens is the most easily that it plates or plates out. So those four terms be familiar with. Okay, now when you try an example question, let me see if I can find one here. Uh, let's let me list out a couple and get a larger chalk. Okay. So let's say we have lithium, uh, silver, I guess, let's do zinc, uh, let's do copper, and I guess that's good. Okay, so now let's write some reduction potentials here because I want to find out which ones of these reduce. Okay. This is, zinc is negative, uh, oh I just lost it, negative 0.763 volts. Silver is plus 0.8 volts. Lithium is negative 3.04 volts. Copper is zero point okay which one's most likely to reduce the one that's the most positive so the silver you could also say played out which one's the most likely to oxidize in the reverse reactions uh, that would be lithium so for the reverse reaction we're expecting lithium to be the most easily oxidized does that work for you yeah. or the most easily to corrode okay and so if it asks which will oxidize first, it's just the reverse reaction, so it'll be Okay? Yeah.